Hi guys and welcome back again to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. As promised, here I am. Hey. And I want to show you today how to make how this Michael behind the camera, guys. I want to show all you guys how to make white rice. I know I have done this before, but I'm going to do it again on 4K. And it's a more upgrading uh, video because I'm going to make this rice with salt and olive oil. And this is going to be done and fully cooked in less than um, 15 minutes. Okay? So here we go. The first step is you turn the stove on. I put it on high. And I'm going to use the front. If you don't have experience, like I always tell you guys, you want to use the back burner. And then I open the water here. So what are we going to do? I already washed my hands. That's why I have the water on it. We're going to wash the rice. So this is what I like to do. I like to put my hand in and go ahead, wash, turn it off. And as you can see, all that on the top, that is dirt. Because you can see it, that is dirty. And also from the, um, the thing of the rice. The flour of the rice, sorry guys. Rice I flour. always do that. Rice flour, yeah, that's right. Or rice milk. And uh, you're gonna wash your rice. I like washing my rice until the water is clear because the, the, the rice will cook faster, will taste better, and it just, I'm telling you guys, not it's different. A lot of people don't wash it this good, and then they have like that milky, uh, water that the, the rice cooks and it's because of the flour. Right. See what I'm saying? So you see all that? That's flour still. Flour and dirt. Flour and dirt. We're going to rinse it off again. That was like three times, right? right? So anyways, yeah, you keep on washing and washing and washing. So anyway, guys, I'm going to take advantage now. I wanted to tell you guys a thank you for you guys following me and liking my videos and how I explain them and how I show them and all that and uh, I'm going to try very hard to get be more involved in my videos and make more videos. I've been wanting to do that for a while but um, sometimes it gets harder, you know, you get older and I love what I do, believe me. But I have to get back on the horse like my son says, Mama, come on, we got to make some videos and we do. But I do have a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I got to take care of the house, I got to cook, I got to clean. So actually, yeah, the timing. You know, sometimes I don't have time, but I'm going to start doing this for you guys because I like it and I know you guys enjoy it and you guys love from my videos. So here we go, guys. You saw that last water there? It was already kind of clean, right, Mike? What do you oh, yeah. say, Mike? Oh, yeah. You see? You can see right through this one already, see? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go like that. Now I'm going to fill it up with hot water. It might look a little bit uh, uh, faint, but it's not. I'm gonna put enough water because I don't want to put any more water, okay? While it's gonna fall, this is your dough. That's the amount of water that I'm gonna put. And more or less, like when you know how to cook or make something, you can just eyeball it like I do, you know? But uh, you just put enough water that the, the rice is gonna cook. And then my olive oil, one, two, three, four, five, six. Enough olive oil because I need my rice to cook all the way. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna put one and two little, um, you can say like a one tablespoon of salt. That's what I put in there. For like what? That was, that's three and a half cups of rice that I put. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wait until this car is cooking and getting, you know what I'm saying? You wanna move it because you want the oil and the water, you know? Now, for, there's a lot of people that don't like the rice too partially, like two together, stick together. So if you like it more grainy, you can always pour water out. If you want it more partially, then you leave the water. If you don't want this much water, you can take it out. So when it starts boiling, we're gonna come back right before it dries, okay? I'm gonna take a video, we're gonna film while it's boiling and cooking, and then we're gonna film again while I uh, just move it and cover it and lower it for you guys. So it's on high, I'm gonna leave it like that until it starts boiling and drying and it's time to uh, to turn to put it on low so it can cook. So we'll be right back, don't go away and thanks for watching. Okay guys, always make sure that after you put your rice on, as is the water starts evaporizing, make sure you take your spoon and slowly from back to back, make sure you move it because you don't want your rice sticking. Now, as it's boiling faster, you want to lower 
You want to lower the flame. You want to put it like a medium and let it dry. Now when it's totally dry, that there's no more water, we will cover it with this lid and time it for 10 minutes. And then we'll move it around, time it for another like five minutes and it'll be done. I'm telling you, this is the easiest thing is to make white rice. So we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. And remember, remember, you don't want your rice as the water is evaporizing to feel like it's stuck. So make sure you move it. And that means that you have enough oil to cook that rice. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. back. So you see all that bubbling? That means that it's ready to lower this. Hold on a second. I'm going to put it on three. Okay, so it can cook on slow, and I'm gonna move it like this, guys, and I'm gonna put the lid on. There we go, nice and tight, and we're gonna time it for, I'm gonna put 10 minutes, Michael, is that good with you? And in 10 minutes, we're gonna open it, turn it, it should be done in 10 minutes. If it's not, then like two or three more minutes, but I say like 10 minutes because it usually, that's what it usually takes, like 10. We can switch it in 5 minutes and turn it over, but we're going to wait those 10 minutes. So we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Guys, so we're back and we are 25 seconds before we can move this rice. We put 10 whole minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it and then leave it there like for another like 3 minutes. And when we come back, the rice will be done. And that's how you make white rice with olive oil and salt. And you wash it a lot until the water is clean. You so saw what I did. Just follow what I did and you'll be good. Hold on a second, guys. So here we go. Two, one. All right, Michael. Here we go. All right, Mom. All right, so that's 10 minutes. This is too small. So I'm going to take a large cooking spoon and I'm going to insert it on the side and I'm going to turn this this way. This is how I turn right. So go like that. You turn it, do it again until all the rice is scooped up from the corners and turn upside down. Yeah, it still needs uh, some more time to cook. So that was 10 minutes and I'm gonna give it another, what do you think, Michael? Like five, seven more minutes? I say seven more minutes, right? And when we come back from those minutes, guys, this will be done, that's it. I'm gonna put the lid on it halfway done timer again one sorry timer one two three four five six seven and start and i'll see you guys in seven minutes thanks for watching and don't go hey guys, so here we're back michael come on uh put the camera in two one and this was the white rice guys and here we are and you know how i know it's done because you can you can smell it. If you want to back up a little bit, Michael. So this is our white rice. Look at all the rice that we got. And this is three and a half cups of rice. Look at all the rice we have here. If you got to like feed your family and this is the only thing that you have to eat, that will be enough to feed your family. In a lot of our countries, third world countries, this is all that a lot of people just get to eat. A little bit of uh, white rice and that's it. Sometimes for days. Right, Michael? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So here we are, guys, here's your white rice. You can make anything you want on the side. You can have your rice with eggs. You can have your rice with ham. You can have your rice with chicken. You can have your rice with uh, some pork, with fish. You can have your rice by, your, by itself, guys. Like I am going to eat that little bit. I put two little things, one for Michael, one for me. Michael, you get the one with the less. And I'm gonna have this one that it has the most and you can see that smoke look at that guys look just sensational right how quick you can make a meal for your family for friends for you hey hold on a second let me see this mm, mm -hmm. i love me some white rice you know what it doesn't cost that much money and you can feed a lot of people with it you know and just add up if you only have a little bit of chicken you can give everybody one piece with some sauce the beautiful rice and you're eating it's a meal so with that, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. You know what to do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking our videos. And thanks for donating your dollars here and there for all those people that like to donate. So with that, I'm going to let you guys, everybody, go. Thanks for watching. We love you all. And remember, don't drink and drive.